Richard is called Purple Girl and it's a portrait of my elder daughter and um, I really focused more in on what makes her unique. So it's got lots of different iconography in it. Um, she loves the water. When she was a little girl, she thought that she was a mermaid. She was convinced that she was a mermaid. And so um, we, we started believing her almost because she was totally convinced and she loved the water so much. So there's a lot of water, ocean imagery in there. There's fish and bubbles and coral and things like that. And also references to mermaids. Um, down in the corner, there's a little mermaid's purse, which is an egg pack, an egg pack for I think either skates or rays, but it's called a mermaid's purse because it looks like a little pocketbook, which is neat. Um, she's always been really interested in platypus, and so, which is, she knows more than almost anybody knows a platypus outside of Australia, I think. So there's a platypus in there. She also um, developed her own alphabet and language when she was in middle school, and she can now speak and write it. It's really crazy. So there's a little bit of her language in there and some of the music she's composed and some words that represent her writing because she's also a creative writer. But I wanted to show through this piece that we're more than just what we look like, that what makes us individuals is our skills, our talents, our interests, our abilities. The theme really appealed to me because I think that we all need to look beyond the mirror. We need to not be as concerned with um, appearances. We need to think about people as, as human beings, as what they are on the inside. I think someone looking at this piece um, would think maybe that I do a lot of portraits, which is really not true. This is one of the first art quilts that I ever did that was a portrait. I tend to do things based on my original photographs and most of my work is highly um, realistic. So this is a little bit of a departure for me because it has more abstract imagery in it. I also use really funky colors. I kind of wanted a graffiti look or a, something that looked like more like urban street art. Um, so it's not really all that representative of what I've done in the past. Uh, it pushed me out of my comfort zone to do something um, a little bit different because of the theme. Artistically powerful quilts have a strong message, a strong meaning, or they come from the soul of the creator in, in a strong way. And I know that some of the pieces that I have made, I feel like they have a little bit more of my soul in them than others do. And sometimes you don't know that until you finish the piece. Um, and you can tell it because you kind of get tingly when you look at it. 